nested if statements. We can nest if statements for scenarios with more than just two possibilities. We do this by writing an if else statement inside the curly braces of another if else statement, which is really intimate if you think about it. Let's take family matters into our own hands and go throw a little nested if in here. So let's do if the family size is greater than or equal to four and the family size, this double and means they both have to be true, nine, if it's less than nine, we wanna say message equals copy, paste. We got a pretty medium sized family here, else and then finish the curly, you always want the curly bra braces there to match. That's always a nice feeling. If the family size is greater than or equal to four and family size is less than nine, you got yourself a pretty medium family. If it's not less than four, we're gonna go inside here and check, man, is this true? Is this if else block true? Well, there's really no limit to how deep you can nest these statements, but the danger of nesting too deep, as we all know, makes the code harder to read and most of us have trouble reading to begin with. So love your neighbor. One or two levels are fine of the nesting, but beyond that, the code becomes really hard to read and really hard to maintain. Don't be a bird and don't create too big of a nest. I think this brings up a good point. Let's do the else if. The else if conditional lets you chain multiple conditional statements together. The else if allows you to check against multiple cases and conditionally execute code depending on which case evaluates to true. So you can have as many else ifs as you want, but uh, but only one of these conditions can be true. Only one person stands on the throne, so let's switch up this statement here. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy paste this guy. Copy, paste, and do else. That's beautiful. So if family size is less than four, had an extra curly brace there. So if the family size is less than four, do this. Else, if the family size is greater than or equal to four, blah, 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 do this. If neither one of these are true, do this. The else if statement is better than using nested if statements. So if you end up using a ton of if else statements, you may want to use a switch, which we haven't covered yet, but we will. Anyway, keep up the good work, keep learning. And if you keep at this and keep practicing, you will soon be one of the greatest iOS developers on the planet. I have no doubt about it. If anybody can do it, it's you. So keep at it and we can do this together. All right, I'll see you in the next video.